How to set up your WSG Safety app. WorkSafe Guardian is a vital part of our loan worker work health and safety policy as it provides a simple way of raising an alert when something is wrong. After completing your sign up form, WorkSafe Guardian would have sent you an eight digit app code. Now, let me show you how to set up the app. After you have downloaded the app from the link in the WorkSafe Guardian email, Tap on the yellow WSG icon to open the app. Make sure your device location services are on and notifications are enabled. If they are not, then the monitoring centre won't know where to send responders when you need help. Enter the same email address you used when completing the sign up form and enter the eight digit app code sent to you by WSG. Tap sign in to unlock the app. Read and accept the terms and conditions. At this point, it is important to remember that the app code is linked to the phone number of your device. If you change phone numbers, you'll need to contact WSG. If you change phones, be sure to log out of WSG before signing in to your new phone. Now, to run you through the WSG settings so you get the most out of using the app. Tap the cog icon to enter the settings menu. Tap View My Details to check your information. Make sure the phone number is the phone number of the device running WSG. Tapping How to use WorkSafe Guardian will open up a manual for you to save on your phone for future reference. Alert Test is a great way of making sure all is working with your phone and the WSG servers. A good time to use this feature is when you think mobile reception may be a bit questionable or you just want to practice activating an alert and to check everything is running OK. After tapping Alert Test, press and hold the icon for three seconds until the yellow outer ring closes. You'll see five tasks appear. When each task is complete, it will have a green tick to the left. When there is five ticks, the test is complete. The test can then be emailed as proof of completion if required. The test will also appear on the usage report. If a red cross appears, please check your phone for mobile cell service and ensure location services are turned on. Additional assistance can be obtained by contacting WSG support. Tapping Shake Detection is where you go to set the shake feature's sensitivity. Move the slider to the left for a softer shake and the right for a harder shake. 75% or higher is recommended. Move the bottom slider to the right so a single shake does not set off an alert. The number goes up as you move it to the right. This is how many times you need to shake in order to activate an alert. The higher the number, the longer you need to shake. This feature assists with reducing false and avoidable activations. Testing it here will not send an alert. Your phone will vibrate in your hand when you shake it hard enough and long enough, just as if you are activating a genuine shake alert. In a real life scenario, the vibration confirms that the monitoring center has received the alert. Tapping sound settings will allow you to choose the sound your phone will make when your welfare timer needs you to check in. Tapping on each option will play a clip of the sound. Pick one you will recognize as WSG. Tap save sound at the bottom of the screen to keep your selection. Now tap Default settings to configure the default welfare timer settings. Set the welfare timer default. This should be your most frequently used time and how often you'll need to check in. Set shake ensures the shake feature is enabled when welfare timers are running. Tap save at the bottom of the screen to save your defaults. These are the defaults that appear when you open the timer function. They can then be edited to suit each session. WSG has added voice tools for some functions of the app. They work a little differently between iPhone and phones running Android. Looks like you're running iPhone, so let's start with that one. Make sure your iPhone is running iOS 12 and later. Tap voice tools and select the function you wish to set up. Tap the red button to record the words that will trigger the function. To avoid conflict with other Siri functions, WSG has created some default suggestions. However, you can modify to suit. Once you recorded it, it will confirm the words you said. Tap Done to set up the next one and continue from there. Remember, 
Activating a safety alert or medical alert will initiate an alert that will go through to the monitoring centre and will be actioned. To delete a series shortcut, go out of WSG and go to your phone settings. Scroll to WorkSafe and tap to open phone settings for the app. Tap Siri in search, then shortcuts and edit. Tapping the red circle and confirm will delete the shortcut. Tap done when complete. To use the voice tool functions, summon Siri as normal and say the words recorded for the function. Hey Siri, end timer. If you have an Android device, the voice tools are a little different, mainly as you can't set up your own phrases. Confirm your Android smartphone is on 19, KitKat and later. To trigger the functions required, remember to activate a safety alert. The phrase is, OK Google, search safety alert on WorkSafe Guardian. To activate a medical alert, the phrase is, OK Google, search medical alert on WorkSafe Guardian. If you want to acknowledge and continue welfare timer, the phrase is, OK Google, search continue welfare on WorkSafe Guardian. Or if you wish to stop a welfare timer, say, OK Google, search Stop Welfare on WorkSafe Guardian. It's worth knowing some Android devices use OK Google or Hey Google. Remember, activating a safety alert or medical alert will initiate an alert and go through to the monitoring centre and will be actioned. Be sure to add the monitoring centre number to your phone contacts so you are aware WSG is calling when they respond to your alert and be ready with your voice code. With WorkSafe Guardian, you'll never work alone.